Hey, it's your coach Dan Letourneau here with some tips for what you need to do before you start your transformation and your workout program, your healthy eating. First thing you need to do is go ahead and take before pictures. So you're taking a before picture, you can flex like this, take a before picture, take a picture from the side, take a picture from on an angle, take a picture from behind. The more you take the better because then when you can, you can take a picture at the end and really compare where you made the changes. Take a picture for guys just with a pair of shorts on, for girls put your bathing suit on and um, take a picture. You don't have to share with everybody. Keep it for yourself and because if you know what, you don't take one and then at the end you're going to wish that you had one when you go to show your after pictures and start inspiring people then you're going to be like, oh I didn't take a before picture. You'll be really disappointed if you don't take one. So just take one, you don't have to show anybody. Do your waist size at your belly button, measure that, write it down, uh, measure your weight. Now for weight, I usually get up in the morning, go to the washroom, and then I'll measure my weight. Record that time, and then make sure when you're weighing yourself again, you're weighing yourself at the same time. So say it's Monday morning, after you get up, that's your time to weigh yourself again. Don't go weighing yourself Thursday night after you had a big heavy dinner and then you're wondering why you gain weight. So make it every Monday morning or every other Monday or every fourth Monday for the month so you get an accurate reading because you're measuring it at the same time all the time. Um, you can also take measurements for like your chest, around your shoulders, you can do your arms, some people do their forearms as well, your thighs, your calves, um, at your hips, some people measure their neck, and the more you do, the more you can see where you made the changes after, and make sure you mark down where you measured yourself for each of those measurements, so you know where to take the after measurements. You also want to rate on a scale of 1 to 10 your nutrition, where that's at, uh, where your energy levels are at before you started, and how your sleep is and you also want to rate your general mood and your outlook on life and then see how that changes as you move on because with working out and eating healthier you're going to feel a lot better you're going to have more energy and just see how much, how much that changes it's hard to gauge those ones because they're not an exact measurement like how, how bad do you really feel because you don't really know how good you can feel after so you might set, start at a 9 and you might end at a 12 out of 10 so who knows those are other measurements you can take just for something else to uh, measure out besides just the weight. Okay, so that's it for today. Go ahead and take those measurements and write down how you're feeling for those other questions that I gave you. Write them down, put them in a safe spot so you have them. Make sure you take those pictures and save them. And that's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and we'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day.